Run it back, Philly. No frauds, no fanboys, no intros. Speaking of frauds. This is brought to you by DraftKings. If you want to get into sports betting, you can click the link in the description right now. Bet $5, just $200 in free bets. Bam, there you go. Now you got $200 in free bets to bet on whatever you want. So if you've been hesitant to get into sports betting, this is probably the best opportunity for you to get $200 worth of free bets by just putting up five bucks. Gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. Not valid in all states. Let's go! I'm just going to jump right into it by bringing this up on the screen. Speaking of DraftKings, the, uh, the, the spread for Monday night is two points. The Philadelphia Eagles are favored on DraftKings right now by two points. Now listen, if you want that free $200 and you want to bet your $5 and you bet on the Vikings and you're an Eagles fan, you just don't tell anybody. That's what you do, okay? You don't tell anyone. Because that two-point spread is pretty scary considering the Eagles couldn't even cover the damn three and a half, four and a half point spread against the Detroit Lions on Sunday, all right? <laughs> Point. So, uh, yeah, I, I want uh, your guys. I'm gonna get your guys' thoughts on uh, that specifically because I, I didn't know what to expect when I was looking up what the spread was. I didn't know which team was gonna be favored. Um, and uh, uh, my opinion right now is that I am nervous as an Eagles fan about the Minnesota Vikings this Monday night, simply because uh, we gave up 35 points to the Detroit Lions. Jonathan Gannon's schemes. Uh, uh, have been questionable uh, all last season, and it was questionable week one. We didn't show much fight defensively at all, and the Minnesota Vikings have a hundred times more talent on the offensive side of the ball than the Detroit Lions. Uh, Kirk Cousins, obviously better than Jared Goff. Um, Justin Jefferson over there. Uh, Dalvin Cook in the backfield. I mean, if, if DeAndre Swift had 155 yards rushing or whatever it was, what's Dalvin Cook going to do to us? So I don't have a good feeling. I uh, hopefully, Stephen, maybe you'll be positive when it comes to the Eagles. Uh, but that's where I'm at with it. I, I don't know if I trust the two point favorite. Um, Steve, what do you think? As much as I wanted to come on here and be the like positive, optimistic <laughs> guy, I actually side with you, and it's probably a good thing that we have a Vikings content creator here just to provide something a little bit different and you provide know, some positivity. Just, <laughs> I don't know, like it's. I'm very curious to see your like general stance on this matchup, this week two matchup. But I personally am very nervous, obviously considering what just happened with the Eagles in week one. But I just I don't know if I love the matchup. You know, Eastwood mentioned uh, what Dalvin Cook did. It's funny. It's really funny because um, I was a big Dalvin Cook fan coming out of college. I actually wanted him, you know, to come to the Eagles a few years ago when he came out of the draft. And then obviously the whole thing with with Justin Jefferson. So it's kind of bittersweet. And then the fact that you guys have Jalen Rager now, you know, who I more than any other Eagles fan kind of like clamored on to hope with them. I gave him a lot, a lot of time, a lot of leeway considering all of the uh, shortcomings he had here in Philly, obviously, but I would love nothing more than to see him somehow cost the Vikings in any way. Maybe he, maybe he drops a punt. You know, that'd be interesting, but uh, just general takes right now. I'm very nervous about this game, man. I don't know how to, I don't know how to feel about it. Uh, f for me, uh, I started feeling optimism in the off season when I started to see how our uh, team was starting to shape out. And obviously like Zadarius Smith and the new defense. And uh, it, it was just, looking really good in the off season. That was been our biggest problem is like um, people talk about Kirk Cousins and saying, well, he needs everything perfect around him. I'm like, he hasn't seen an offensive line ranked higher than 26 in his lifetime as a starter. And he has, and he's only had like one good defense uh, since he's been a starter too. So I'm just wanting average. I'm just wanting average offensive line, average defense and see what he can do. And it seems like week one, it's looking good. Right, and I'm feeling more optimistic at this game just because I'm listening to uh, Eagles podcasters, and I'm hearing, you know, and then I'm reading articles about how you're gonna, you're potentially gonna fire your defensive coordinator after one game, <laughs> and then I'm, and I'm not even talking about the game that you guys played. Um, I was licking my chops, but when I went back and looked at your game, and and you, know, you got a pick six, awesome. Your defense made plays. I feel like ours did too. We had two, we had two turnovers. I predicted a strip sack and an INT by Smith, and it came to fruition. Um, 
sure enough, you know, it happened. So I guess so looking at what, and then that onside kick that they did uh, after they scored and just to give you, you know, Hey, here's some free points. I'm feeling pretty good um, about the game. Uh, two, I can I can see us being two point dogs just because of where we started. They all, you know, a lot of people think we're going to be a, a below 500 team or 500 at best, but you can't be 500 anymore. But uh, I, I just assume we we're going to be a dogs on the road to you guys. This is a tough tough place to play. We're not going to have many fans there after 2017. <laughs> <laughs> hey 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 uh, are are you guys are you guys staying away from the rocky statue i was gonna, uh, I was gonna <laughs> formally i was gonna formally apologize for the idiots to decide oh, to make the biggest locker room material you could possibly do right before yep. we go play an nfc title game i i would believe me there's a lot a lot of Viking fans that were pretty upset that some assholes went and did that to Rocky. <laughs> I think they are fan think base the, too, right? I think, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like, um, and we're just watching videos of, um, um, families with their kids walking the stadium in purple and beer, full beer cans being chucked at yeah. them yeah. as they're walking by. Yeah. Well, Hey, I remember, yeah. I remember, uh, <laughs> I remember before that game and that was a playoff game too, which, which the, the, you know, the intensity is even higher oh, yeah. more. I remember seeing a clip from a Minnesota uh, news uh, show, and a guy was explaining to Minnesota uh, locals. He said, "Do not wear Vikings jerseys to that stadium." <laughs> think he, he's, he's seriously. He said, "Think of it as gang colors, and you're in foreign turf." Like he was being serious. And yeah, full beer cans. That's not cool <laughs> at all. None of us endorse right. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. None of us obviously endorse violence, but the people down there. When it comes to the birds, are not 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 uh, they are very just unhinged. Uh, the, so you know, yeah. The be Vikings safe. wire. Be safe. The Vikings wire put out a disclaimer about that exact fact. Don't you know? Don't wear your colors. Don't 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 go. Basically, start out. Don't go <laughs> to the game. Don't. Then it was like, if you do, <laughs> don't do these things. And uh, yeah, I've and I, I've seen. I was watching because I started watching a couple of your guys' videos, and it took me to other Eagles content. And it was like uh, there was someone like, "Don't don't drink at the game because they're gonna be <laughs> already inebriated. We don't want you uh, getting drunk and causing <laughs> you know causing yourself problems because they're not gonna give a shit." So. Yeah, I, I, I think it was probably the fact that they felt disrespected by the Rocky statue. Thing. Oh That's, gosh, yeah. You know, like yeah. you can wear your jersey to the game. You, you're going to get booed. You just walk. You <laughs> sit in your seat. Whatever. I, I don't think there's you know random violence against everyone, but that was that was that yeah. was that was a that was intense. it's a it was a dark day in football history all around uh, uh, for us, anyways. <laughs> it really was. It I started out say, nice. I, we were up seven nothing. 